Alright, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, Tada, I came out there preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is Brother Shamar coming back with another lesson. And this lesson is going to be kind of brief. It's just speaking on how this article right here and how um, pretty much hell is just getting worse. You know, America is getting worse. Is literally waxing worse and worse and we uh, mentioned this you know often in our camp because California has like a huge you know housing crisis and I don't really look into other states like that but I'm pretty sure other states are going to slowly get to that same extent but the housing crisis out here in California is so bad just because you know all the pricing for everything is literally this completely out of order you know the pricing for housing and rent and everything else is just continually escalating going up and up meanwhile you know the amount of money you make per hour at your job is not nowhere near going up at the same pace as like inflation is pretty much with the cost of living in um in the bay area you know the price of goods are going up as well as the um, the cost of living all right gas and everything included and like I said, your your paychecks aren't aren't um you know the amount you make per hour isn't going up to match with it, and a lot of people out out in California they've been doing bad from when the pandemic first started, and the situation has only gotten worse ever since it's so called you know ended. All right, but I wanted to read a little bit of this article and then hit some precepts. It's uh it says uh amid the Bay Area housing crisis. Tiny bunk bed pods offered for eight hundred a month, and this is this is like the the layout, you know, how it would look, and this is like what you would, each little um, cubic square that that would be your cubicle pretty much would be you paying eight hundred dollars for that, no no closet included, you know, just you having a little cube to sleep in. This is it's pretty much like you paying to sleep in almost like a homeless shelter still. Even though they claim that it's supposed to be uh, a means to help, you know. But continuing on, it says for 800 a month, you could live in a tiny bunk bed style pod with 13 other roommates in the Bay Area. Eight month old startup Brownstone, Brownstone shared housing has come under the spotlight this week after an insider profile of the company revealed what it looks like inside the Palo Alto home with 14 tenants each living in a pot. So you're paying $800 just to live in a pot. And this is their solution, you know, that they believe is something that's good to help with the housing crisis and affordable rent, so-called. But how are you going to sleep in a little tiny, like I said, for a tiny bunk bed style pot, if you got family and everything else, you're done. You know, you and then on top of that, you living with 14 other bug outs. So, but this is his solution, which is not a solution. Every time he comes up with the solution, any solution he brings is just more hell. All right, and that's why the people are just continuing, co continually complaining more and more as time goes on. All right. It says, this is Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are at authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. And that's what people are mourning about is the housing crisis, but this is his solution so-called for it, right? A, a tiny pot to sleep in for $800, that's still overpricing itself. And then it goes into how, you know, down or further down in the article, how, uh, let me see. Somewhere in there, it mentioned uh, pretty much how like a studio would go for more than that, but that still isn't justifying the price of it, though. You know, uh, yeah, here we go right here. It says a studio apartment near Stanford University, where the pod home sits, is currently twenty four hundred for a studio, and that's hella small you know having a studio but they want you to pay 2400 but then their their solution is having a box instead of you paying 2400 pay 800 dollars 
to live in a box with 14 other bug outs literally right beside you, below you, next to you. You know, you don't even know nothing about these people. But this is their solution. All right. And this is why the people are mourning because of Wicca and rulership, man. The reason that the earth is out of order the way that it is is because all because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked and you have the wicked ruling. OK. And his solutions to the to the different problems isn't any solutions. It just makes things worse. You want to further crowd people in instead of having people ha have their own space. This you this devil could make prices of things lower. But he doesn't want to do that. He wants to crash the economy. He wants to force all these things to take place, you know. And this is why the uh, America is going to be destroyed, along with many other reasons, man. Because the devil is in rulership. He's causing all these things to go wrong, you know. And America only has so much left, longer left to go on, you know. They're just kicking the can down the street at this point. All right. And we were just seeing, literally seeing the downfall of this place. At what point in time did this, this devil ever have a solution of making, you know, tiny bunk beds for housing now, you know, to be the new norm? That's how bad it's getting out here, though. It's uh, Sirach 10 and um, 10. A wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent ma man is well ordered. And this government is, you know, the complete opposite. It's completely out of order. All right. We continue on. It says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And this is why everybody has that perverse spirit here in Babylon, man, because Esau is pushing that perverse spirit. All right. And it's a little bit off subject, but like now, you know, everything that you look at as far as entertainment goes, you know, movies, shows or whatever. This devil put all type of wickedness in the, in, in you know, in the mix of it. Me and uh, some other, you know, bros, we went to go see a movie, you know, the Doctor Strange movie recently. And that movie is completely out of order, man. If you watch it and go see it, it really just make you mad. I mean, yeah, it's like it has this little, you know, cool effects, whatever, this and that. But watching it after we watched it, we was like, it was so much like hidden messages in there. It's just like. It's just stupid. As well as putting wickedness in there as far as, you know, the alphabet type situations. All right. So, um, you know, you, if you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But this devil just puts that in everything, man. He's pushing that perverse spirit out here and he's pushing it on the people because the main people that's into that is these people in the world and the kids that's watching these films. And that's going to just further bug them out. But continuing on in verse 3, it says, An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city it shall be inhabited. The power of the earth. Yeah, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. And that's what's getting ready to happen, man. All right. Like it says in Ezra, Esau is the end of the world and he's literally bringing the end. He's causing all these different situations to take place where people are just being further and further oppressed. All right. Your living situation is hell. Your uh, America is hell. You know, soon you ain't going to be able to afford to live anywhere. You know, like the um, brothers mentioned here and there on the WEF um, on their YouTube channel. All right. They mention here and there about you not owning anything and being happy. And you can see how they're forcing that situation to take place to the point to where you literally can't even afford to have anything. So you're not going to own anything. And then you're going to be forced to, to love to be in that situation, man. All right. Here it is. You had I seen um, this random article when I was looking through articles and stuff. I didn't even read it fully. But, you know, the heading was just speaking on how this bug out Elon was saying that only Americans literally don't want to work and then trying to compare us to to uh to gooks in China they're literally slaves man you look at how they work they're literally fucking slaves and this is how but this is how this devil wants you to work in America man and that goes for all the all these elites man 
that's how they want you to be, man. You you sleep where you work. You wake up, go to you, and work, and then you go to sleep in a little fucking knapsack or something, take a nap, and then wake up and get your ass back to work. Complete slavery, man. Hey, but this place got to go, and it's going to go soon, man. Through the spirit of y'all, by Shim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so with that, you know I'm going to wrap up and give all praises again to Yahweh, by Shim Yahweh Shai, by Shim Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word and true sincerity. Shalom.